forget about paper versus plastic. Nowadays, we use fabric bags. These are crucial nowadays because we are so in tune with the environment. We no longer need to worry about recycling, but we need to focus on reusing. More buildings nowadays are becoming like that too. In fact, the, the word for those type of buildings are lead buildings. They are environmentally friendly and they focus on using the resources used on old buildings for the new buildings. LEED building stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. Um, I'm a construction science major from Texas A&M University and therefore my major we focus on um, learning the development of how construction is made and how it's processed and all of that. And so therefore we know a lot about LEED and we focus on learning on how we can better the environment with every single um, building we build. Let's look at the advantages, the levels, and the tips that I can give y'all about how to make your next building a lead building. There are many different advantages. Three of the most crucial are environmental, economic, and health. Environmental advantages start with how we protect the ecosystem with a lead building. This is shown as with lead buildings, you don't necessarily cut down more trees, but you go and you reuse the wood. Therefore, when you don't cut down trees, you're saving ecosystems and keeping the environment as safe as it can be. Also, lead buildings improve the air and water control that the building uses. The air is recycled throughout the building and is purified through many different filters. It, it, use, it improves the water as it recycles the water um, throughout the building and also it catches any rainwater that occurs. And another environmentally uh, friendly advantage is how it conserves natural resources. When a lead building is built, it doesn't use all the gas and um, coal and stuff that uh, normal buildings use, but it tries to really focus on cutting down on the natural resources that it uses. Another advantage is the economic ex advantage that you get when you make a lead building. You reduce the operating costs because um, no, you don't have to, it doesn't take as long to build and you use less resources, so therefore you don't have to pay as much in that sense. Um, you improve the occupant satisfaction as the people who live and work in there um, are happier because oftentimes lead buildings do not have walls, as many walls as normal buildings, and so it's more open and there's more windows to let more sunlight in during the summer or during the winter, but they're tinted enough to not let too much in during the summer. And so the people, the occupants that are within it are very happy and they enjoy their life, they enjoy going to work and all of that. And it also improves it, it optimizes the building life cycle because many times the uh, materials you use when you build a lead building are, um, are lifelong materials and so that you don't have to like redo the roofs every now and then, they'll withstand longer than normal buildings. A final advantage is the health advantage. Um, the people, as I stated before, are very happy in their environment and it enhances the comfort so that way they come to work and they're happy when they're at work and they enjoy it and they breathe the clean air, they enjoy the pure water and it's just a very healthy environment. Now that we've looked at the advantages, let's look at the different levels that there are of lead buildings. There's four different levels, but each level is based on a point system. And these point systems are um, accounted for in six different categories. Sustainable sites, which mean that it's a site that's built on a good foundation that will um, hold the building for many times. It won't have any structural damage. Water efficiency, which means that the water in the building is run the most efficient way it can. And energy and atmosphere. And then there's materials and resources, indoor environmental quality, and lead innovative credits. The six of those different categories all have um, different point values and a LEED certified person will go through the building and look at the diff six different categories and rate them on how many points you get for that building. There's four different levels that a building can be. The lowest level is LEED certified. This is 26 to 32 points. Then there's LEED certified silver, which is 33 to 38, LEED certified gold, which is 39 to 51, and finally, there's LEED Certified Platinum. This is 52 to 69 points. 
Typically, um, when you increase the level of lead that you're trying to build your building, it also increases the initial cost of your building because you have to be a little bit more careful and you have to pay for more architects and environmental people to look at your building before you build it. However, in the long run, it will save you money in energy costs and, many, and water costs and many other costs. So it's, in, it's initially a very high cost if you want a platinum one, but it will go down as the years go by. Since you know the advantages in different levels, let's look at the tips to see how easy it is to make our next building a lead building. First, you need to define the lead level that you want to target. That can be the certified silver, gold, or platinum. Once you determine what level you want to get, then you need to look at your budget. And you need to make sure that your budget fits within that level. Then, as you continue planning the building and looking at all the different types that you want, or all the different parts of the building that you want, you need to make sure that your budget and your level are continuous throughout. You don't want to increase the level and then, not for, and then forget about looking at your budget. You want to make sure that it all goes together. And finally, you want to make sure that you're hiring a lead accredited professional. Many people claim that they are lead accredited. However, in order to be a, a real lead accredited professional, you must take a test and then you must do a class to make sure that you really understand what it is to be environmentally friendly. So, we've looked at the different advantages of having a lead building, and we've looked at the, um, the different levels of lead and the tips that you can do to build your next building a lead building. This is very common in our, in our society to continue to have more and more lead buildings. So, also, many, in, many government buildings, or many governments are requiring that their government buildings to be a, a certain lead level. So let's go save the environment and save some money.